Okay, I'm back here in this area where we had the flooding yesterday where the rain was. Uh, looking at the map, it was at most two inches of rain, possibly three. Uh, and what you'll see is that uh, uh, it wasn't very salty. Yesterday's tide measured higher than today's. And it didn't seem salty because the fresh water was on top. And I was here long after the tide. So the, you know, the tide was going down, but there was still water on top that you know, was, was in line. Um, but this time you can see there's water gushing out of that sewer in the middle of the road where it's higher and then making it to the edges. It seems like it'd be coming out of the side sewers uh, fast enough that if it was at that level, it would already be at that level, but it's not. So we're past the peak technically, but it's still going out of that sewer a lot. So this time it's all salt water and there's no rain. You, you can tell because it's coming out of the sewer. It's not that it's not going into the sewer, it's that it's coming out of the sewer. So basically the, the tide we had yesterday was at least as high as this one, and then we had just a couple inches of rain. So again, proof that it's not its not just that it was rain and the tide was at the sewer level. That's true in some spots where there's no tidal flooding. The rain you saw here that made the water over my knees, it was well over my knees, and these cars were floating around a little bit, a couple of them, but they're gone now. This time, this is pure salt water this time. So this is your baseline level right here for uh, any, any rain that happens or any storm surge is going to be on top of this. Remember, storm surge is a little different than tide, so it adds to it. Uh, and that would also be salt water. So right here you see there's significant high tide flooding right here. And this is purely salt water here. This is not rain at all. It hasn't really rained in hours and hours. And it hasn't rained significantly since last night. And like I say, the 24 hour precipitation total was no more than like three inches except inland which you know they probably had a lot of flooding in Doral where the elevation is about three feet even though it's 10 miles inland so but this right here this is 100% salt water you're seeing this is all salt water. 